so we're taking a look at Extreme Flight's new 91 inch Yak. It's a Yak 54. And you can tell it's a Yak 54 by the turtle deck area rather than the bubble canopy that the 55 uh, has. So that turtle deck really helps, especially in your knife edge flight. So interesting to see how this plane will fly. So we'll do a bit of a walk around, starting up the front here. Uh, this plane is running a DA 70 twin motor in it, um, which is super smooth, it's super powerful. It's running JTEC mufflers and it's producing a great note um, with those mufflers. It's actually not that loud, really. Um, maybe that twin's keeping the noise down. Um, Mesolink prop running a 24 by 10 carbon fiber prop. For those aerobatic nuts out there, carbon is a great way to go, nice and stiff. It's actually a little bit quieter, I find, than a carbon prop. It must be the stiffness or something, there's not that, that much flex in them. Um, nice spinner there, just uh, like a true turn uh, aluminium spinner. You can see here there's some great baffling work that's been done on this plane um, to direct that airflow straight through to the engine there. So nice, neat um, installation up front. Beautiful uh, circular cow there on the axe. Um, so if we then walk around, you can see here this plane has got some Seacraft bling on it. This is a Seacraft uh, fuel filler, um, which is nice and neat. From a wing perspective, this is an aerobatic plane designed for freestyle aerobatics, 3D aerobatics. So large control surface to be expected and you can see here massive aileron you'd rarely be using full throws but maybe in some extreme maneuvers you would uh, all the surfaces uh, need to be hinged um, but they give you good quality uh, hinges that come with the kit um, you can see here the owner of this plane has put a nice pilot in it and um, you'll see some graphics around the plane which don't come standard with the plane. They're from B&E Graphics in the US that you can purchase online and I'm um, not sure where you can get it but inside the, uh, the canopy there you can see some uh, sort of photorealistic stickers that go inside the canopy. So moving back we've got the nice turtle deck area which can aid uh, the flight characteristics. Um, big rudder, massive uh, elevators pull pull system which is very common um, with this style of plane. If we look at some of the finer detail, the areas that a lot of us really will look at such as tail wheels, you can see a nice carbon fibre set up here um, with a, uh, a lightweight sort of uh, pin system there connected to the rudder, more than adequate for taxing around the field. Split elevators, so you're looking at um, uh, two elevator servos uh, in the rear, running about 24 kilo torque on servos all around. You really need that torque that can handle the high, um, uh, you know, uh, high G maneuvers, etc. You need that torque to control these massive control surfaces. So now what we're going to do is we'll take the canopy off and we'll have a look at the installation. Okay, time to have a look at what's under the hood here, electronics wise. So I'll just pull this big canopy off, it's massive. So starting up the front, the guy that built this plane is just a clean freak. It's amazing how he can do such a neat installation. Um, but starting at the front, you can see that he's running uh, LiPo batteries for the ignition using the power box spark switch. So the power box spark switch will regulate power um, to your ignition and it will also act as an engine cutoff, which is great. Um, and there's your battery up there. So he's got the weight right forward there. Beautiful uh, clear tank. Um, I think Desert Aircraft are selling these tanks. Great suggestion is to use these clear tanks. You, you can um, observe your clunk, you can see your fuel levels nice and easily. And a great positive snap strap there to hold uh, everything in place. So you can see here, carbon fiber everything, carbon fiber landing gear, carbon fiber uh, wing tube here for um, lightweight. That's the aim with these planes, keep them as light as possible. So moving further back, the owner's using Futaba, um, running a Futaba receiver here into a power box evolution, um, which is sort of a, a mini power box um, power distribution uh, system. And all the, all the uh, servos are connected to the power box unit itself and twin batteries over here that drive the receivers. So the whole idea of this is to have some redundancy. If one battery fails, the other battery will automatically kick in. But if we can get in, and I'm not sure whether we can get in with the camera, and have a look how neat the installation is down here, where you can see all the routing of the cables, including you know, these are the battery cables going out to the back here. Um, it's just so neat, uh, which is amazing. Uh, a single rudder servo, don't need a twin servo for such a size 
plain running SWB arms, which are high quality arms. I look around the three and a half inch sort of mark for that for that arm running a pull pull system. And I think the owner has put some aftermarket uh, pulley tensioners on, which uh, uh, make it a lot easier for adjusting your pull pull setup. So all in all, a really, really neat installation and the owner should be proud of the work that he's done. So the Extreme Flight Yak 54 91 inch plane is an amazing quality aircraft. Extreme Flight are world renowned for their uh, high end balsa aerobatic craft and it's not just about the way that it looks, it's about the way that it flies. But close up when you have a look at it you can see the quality, you can feel the quality in the design and in the build. They are truly an amazing aircraft. We had a bit of a play around with it and we'll uh, share some footage with you and uh, as another plane, full size plane goes overhead, I hope you can still hear me but we had a bit of a play around with it and flight characteristics are just amazing. Uh, it will slow down to a crawl, still be controllable. Stall characteristics are sort of non-existent. It really can slow down um, as it is designed to do. It will achieve any aerobatic maneuver out there. The average pilot will never explore the limits of this aircraft. But what you do get with this Extreme Flight Yak is a high-end quality flying experience. It's, they're easy to fly because they're designed so well. Uh, and a lot of people are scared by the size, but what you'll find when you, when you fly such a plane, that they really, really do perform well because of the effort that the Extreme, Light, Extreme Flight design team have put in to getting the flight characteristics right. So we can definitely recommend this Extreme Flight Yak 91 inch aircraft running the DA-70 motor. If you want to find out more about it, uh, they are available in Australia from Desert, Desert Aircraft Australia. Uh, I'll leave the details below where you can uh, have a look at their website and check out all the pricing. But do yourself a favour if you're in the market for a high-end, great flying aerobatic plane, take a look at the Extreme Flight Yak.